We want to bring Mayor San, San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg into our post election day coverage here on KSAT because a big win for the city and for you with those three pop propositions passing. Thanks to San Antonio voters, we've got funding for pre-K 4SA, workforce development, and then a little bit later down the road uh, via transportation improvements. All of these passed really with overwhelming support. Were you surprised by that at all? You know, I honestly am not surprised given the fact that we had such a large turnout. You know, whenever we have uh, more people turn out to vote, we get a better representative sample of public sentiment. And clearly, we know San Antonio is a community that ra rallies around each other, especially in times of need. Uh, we're a community that believes in its future. Uh, and uh, we are a community that invests in our future uh, and, and in each other. So uh, I wasn't surprised with such a large turnout that we got such a resounding vote of confidence uh, in the community of San Antonio. This was a big win for the people of San Antonio investing in our future, investing in, in the people of our city. When we talk about workforce development specifically, obviously that's training for people who have lost their jobs because of COVID-19. There are also a lot of businesses, especially small businesses out there who are asking, how about us? So I, I'm guessing the effort doesn't end there. Is there something that you would like to see happen to help some of the small business owners who are still struggling right now? Yes, uh, and it's happening now. In fact, our recovery and resiliency uh, program, the recovery program that we is currently underway, we had a briefing on that today, and we augmented the small business grant program to help small businesses get back on their feet that have been affected by COVID-19. Uh, that's critically important that we have that relief now, just as we have a training program before the Ready for Work SA program kicks in uh, next year when the funding starts accumulating. We have the CARES Act funded program in phase one right now. So there's a lot of ongoing efforts. I will say in terms of helping our workforce be prepared for jobs that are here now that, re that are in demand, that pay high wages, that offer economic mobility for families, that's important not just for families uh, or for our entire community, it's also important for businesses because uh, when people are able to make ends meet, when they have more discretionary income because they're they have family sustaining wages and they're in economically mobile jobs. Um, they're able to participate in the local economy and patronize businesses in our community. So everyone in our city benefits when we have fewer people who are suffering in poverty. And that's what I think is, is so um, uh, resoundingly positive about last night is that voters in San Antonio recognize that. We had 750,000 750, voters, a record number, go to the polls in this election cycle and the resounding approval uh, of programs meant to invest in people and break cycles of poverty. We're going to continue this conversation with the mayor right after this break. We're back with Mayor Ron Nirenberg talking about those three propositions that passed overwhelmingly by San Antonio voters last night. So let's talk about that workforce development program again. One of the criticisms of it was that it was short on details, not a lot of specifics laid out about how exactly that money would be used. Now that this has passed, does the city have a better idea or maybe is drilling down on exactly what this will mean for the roughly 40,000 people it's estimated to help? Yeah, and I've, I've always had a, a bit of concern about that characterization because the details of the program have been out there for a while, uh, but we do. So the industries that will be represented by these job training programs are the in-demand job training jobs right now that are available here in San Antonio. For instance, in healthcare, we have 10,000 jobs available for San Antonians that are unfilled right now simply because we don't have workforce with that kind of skill and credential. Uh, 6,000 jobs in construction and trade, 7,000 jobs in technology. So we have jobs available and now what we are going to do is provide job training skills and certificates for workers to be able to take those jobs and the money will go to uh, not only the training program itself, but also the wraparound services, the nonprofits and the service providers that help anticipate any obstacles that might be confronted by a training participant and help eliminate those obstacles before they're encountered. 
Um, there's also emergency financial assistance, uh, about a, uh, about five thousand $500 per person in financial assistance for emergencies that come up during the, the course of the training. So uh, the details of all that is laid out in the implementation plan. Uh, we are going to continue to refine that, that implementation program as we get closer to the spring and some and uh, fall launch in 2021 of the program on December 2nd the City Council will have a B session to go over the details of that implementation plan and um, you know again I look forward to a, a strong participation that the phase one of the program right now has had overwhelming demand and, and so there is definitely a need out there and this program voters have approved will help to fill it. Mayor Ron Nuremberg always appreciate your time. Thank you all very much. We'll be right back.